Out to a big win for the labor movement, workers at a New York Starbucks voting to form a union. It's a first for employees at the coffee retail giant since opening its doors in 1971. ABC's Christine Sloan has the details. This morning, employees at a Buffalo Starbucks banding together to make history, voting to become the first Starbucks shop in the nation to unionize. They say working conditions in recent years propelled them to act. We want to say to Starbucks, this is not who you are. This is not who we are. Union busting is not this company. The coffee retailer denying those accusations, saying they've been listening to workers and that the vote outcomes will not change our shared purpose or how we will show up for each other. We want to protect partner flexibility, transferability, and benefits across all stores. Workers also voting at two other Buffalo Starbucks, citing frustration over understaffing and insufficient training. One voting against forming a union while votes are still being challenged at a third location because of alleged irregularities. The employees say the next step is to bring Starbucks to the negotiating table. We have earned our seat and we have proven that we are Starbucks. This is just the latest unionization effort with Amazon workers in Alabama, museum staffers and university instructors among the recent attempts. Christine Sloan, ABC News, New York.